the analog pocket just got a huge upgrade. Let's talk about that. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we're looking at the analog pocket yet again. Due to that open FPGA core, the analog pocket has become a great go-to device to play games on the go. Now, if you saw in our last video how we upgraded our analog pocket, you'll know that that website is no longer running. However, due to the great modding community, one person has developed a new program that makes it easier than ever to set up your analog pocket to play all sorts of systems. Let's get started with this tutorial. Let's talk about the things that we'll need. First things first is we'll need an analog pocket. Secondly, we'll need a micro SD card. Some form of computer. Now for this tutorial, I'll be utilizing a Windows PC. However, if you're on Mac or Linux, you just follow the exact same steps as they are exactly the same. Switching over to the computer side of things, I'm on my Windows PC. Again, this will work on Mac and Linux exactly the same. Uh, so no worries on whatever you're using, but we're going to go to this Matt Panella Pocket Core Auto Update Net uh, GitHub here. And um, we see here we have a new release uh, just 10 days ago, and we're going to click on this over here. And since we're using Windows, I'm going to use the Windows here. So I'll have a link down in the description below to this GitHub page, but if we scroll down, it says a free utility for updating the open FPGA cores and firmware on your analog pocket. The update process will check for pocket firmware updates, open FPGA cores updates, and install any required BIOS files and arcade ROMs. You're on your own when it comes to console ROMs though. A complete list of available cores can be found at this link here. So the instructions for this updater are extremely simple. Uh, to run the updater, all you need to do is put the executable file for your platform, whether your Windows, Mac, or Linux, in the root of your SD card and run the program. It does everything else for you. All right, now that we have the pocket update uh, file downloaded, I'm going to right click on it and extract here. All right, once that's extracted, we see we have this .exe file here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the zip folder. Folder. All right, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and get our micro SD card from our analog pocket and plug it into the computer. Now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead, control A, just going to wipe everything out of this. And I'm going to drag and drop the XE file here and run it. Select your cores, the available cores will be listed one at a time. For each one, hit N if you do not want it installed, or just hit Enter if you want it. And here we go. Once that's done, it will then check for a firmware uh, update, and it looks like it found one, so it's going to install that. So as it was downloading all those cores, you see that it was setting up all of our files automatically uh, on the micro SD card. So we didn't really have to do anything. Um, this says it's good to go. I'm going to push enter. It's going to close. So we can uh, eject this now. Or uh, we can put in oops, some ROMs in the common folder. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up with some games, and then we'll test them out on the actual analog pocket. All right, now that we transferred all of our ROMs over, nothing left to do except for put the micro SD card back into our analog pocket and boot it up. All right, we're all set now. Just have to put the micro SD card in and boot it up. All right, now that that's done, we have our end user uh, agreement. We're definitely reading all this. Yep, I agree. Now, if we go to Open FPGA, we see all of these cores. If we go to like Super Nintendo and run, 
Here are all the games in the Super Nintendo. So one thing that I notice is that uh, it runs really, really well, and it looks beautiful on the screen. Um, however, there was no way to um, save any memories, um, so we couldn't just like hop right back in where we left off. Where I'm fairly certain uh, with the official firmware, um, at least on like Game Boy Advance and stuff like that, you could. I'm gonna test it out here. Yeah, so as you see, we have memories available for the Game Boy Advance and probably the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Um, that might be a feature. Let's exit out of that. Might be a feature that they um, release later on for the uh, the other cores. Um, but no, it works flawlessly. It it plays nicely. Um, definitely recommend if you have an analog pocket to do this very very easy mod to be able to take all your games on the go uh, and um, have a beautiful screen to do so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe what are your thoughts on the analog pocket is it too much of a premium device to take on the go is there cheaper better alternatives that make the analog pocket just not worth your time have a great week, everyone, and take care.